To God be the glory. I bless each and every one of you. You are the bright morning star. You are the blessedness of the one who has called you right from the very beginning, the new wine in the new wine skin. You are the river of life <laughs> and the bread of life. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to bring this word elevation onto each and every one of us. And I believe the father is here to elevate a lot of people in Jesus name. So this is how the word came about. I was just praying and all of a sudden I saw a ladder. And there was a person holding onto the ladder and the person had white shoes on. Yes, they had white shoes on. And upon wearing the white shoes, they were climbing up the ladder. And it's a place where, you know, just praying into it. I just began to discern that this is the hour that the father a lot of people you have been walking in purity can you see it the white shoes purity white shoes purity you have been walking in purity and in holiness before the father you have been walking in forgiveness you have been walking in a pure heart with a sound mind you have been walking in the way that pleased the father yes the father says he is pleased with you and your walk with him yes yes pleased with you he is so pleased with you and how you have continued to walk with him in purity despite everything that was around you that came against you you kept a pure heart all the way through you know you could have retaliated <laughs> you could have decided not to forgive but you chose the way of the lord you chose the walk of the father you chose the path the choices that you've made you made it in christ jesus you know because sometimes you know we might want to act a certain way because of the way we feel but rather you chose to walk in the what? In the purity that the Father truly is. And for that reason, the Lord is saying, I am here to elevate you. Everywhere that you have been, that you thought they looked down upon you, he said, I am lifting you up far beyond that you have ever thought of. Why? Because he says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has he entered into your heart what the Father is about to do for you. You thought you had had been in that place for a long time. You thought you had been in that job for a long time. You thought you had been in that marriage for a long time. You thought you had been in that business for a long time. You thought you had been in that, you know, whatever it is that you've been for such a long time. And it felt like nothing was happening. The truth of it was everything that happened to you was here to promote you into the dimension that the father has for you. Yes. So in this hour and in this dimension, there is about to be graduation for so many people once again. <laughs> Do you see it? Because you're coming into a new level of authority. You're coming into a new level of power. You're coming into a new level of anointing. I just keep hearing that word anointing. Yes. The father is about to bestow unto you anointing, anointing on your business, anointing on your marriage, anointing on your finances, anointing on your job to be able to go further than you've ever been before. This is where he's setting you apart for the goodness that you have walked in, for the purity that you have walked in, for the holiness that you have walked in and because you have pleased his heart so very much hence the reason why you're climbing up <laughs> do you see it? you're coming up a lot higher higher than you've ever been before so for every shame i'm about to give you double honor for every lack i'm about to give you an overflow yes for every disunity i'm about to bring peace into everything that came and disrupted it i am about to restore the years that the canker worms the locusts the palm worms have eaten i'm about to bring it onto you because now is the time. The elevation in which is coming upon you is to set you in a dimension that the glory of the Father may be revealed through you because you are the one that the star is coming up in heaven because everyone is looking up to you because you are the dimension they have been waiting for. So now is the time that I'm about to set your foot even in a new dimension. For some of you, you're about to move into a new territories, territories that have been established right for you from the foundation of the earth. You've wondered why you have waited this long. This is because the best thing to be presented to the world had to be prepared in a place in the sacred place so that when it comes forward the people will taste and see that the Lord is good you are whom they are tasting you are whom they are seeing and they are acknowledging the father that he is good because of your presence because of the dimension you have walked in you see when Samuel yeah when Samuel yeah when Samuel when he went into the house of David Eliab wasn't considered the brothers wasn't considered but the Bible declares that they couldn't sit down until David appeared so you can begin to see that those who are waiting on 
you. They cannot sit down. They cannot be in the place where they need to be until you appear. So for the stage has been set for you. Now the audience, they have gathered together. The stage has been set. The light is upon the stage and now you're coming to that stage and because they are waiting for you, they are chanting your name. I know you can remember the movie, you know, the Gladiator movie. I'm sure a lot of us are quite acquainted with it. When they called on to Maximus to come and what? To come and fight in the battle. Everybody was chanting his name, Maximus, Maximus. And then he came out. He gave the best and most spectacular show ever. That is the dimension in which you're walking in because that is what Christ came to do. And in that dimension, look at it. In the book of Acts chapter 2, they said, what shall we do? So this is where the Father is setting you on stage. This is your moment. This is the presentation of you upon all creation. For all creation is waiting for the manifestation. This is your manifestation because you are being elevated. And this is the glory that is manifesting upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you because this is the day that the Lord has made. And it is marvelous in the eyes of the, of the Lord for him to uphold and to bless and to lift you into the dimension because you have pleased his heart. The Father tells me, he said to remind you and to tell you once again, that you have pleased his heart. You have pleased his heart and he's very, very proud of you for how you have continued to walk in faith with him without walking, you know, even the doubts came, the unbelief came, you know, everything that wanted to shake you from that presence did, but you stood firm. You stood firm. Regardless of the choices and the opinions that other people try to draw you into, you stood firm and you continue to persevere. And for that reason, you have walked in purity. For that reason, Oh, you are coming up higher because it's time to elevate you. And look at what the crowd are doing. They are jeering. They are chanting your name. They are jeering. All of heaven is applauding you. All of heaven, the cloud of witnesses, the seraphims, the cherubims, they are applauding you. And why are they applauding you? Because it is your time and it is your turn. This is your moment because the stage is set for you to come upon it. The crowd has been gathered and now it's time for you to shine upon all creation. To God be the glory. I bless you because you are the blessedness of the Father who is upon all creation. See what the Lord has done. What you have waited for, it has what? It has come to pass. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I love you all so very much. Stay blessed in the presence of the Most High that you are in. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.